Let me set everything up. Cool, cool, cool. How are yuns today? What's today? Thursday? It's a good day to be Thursday, right? I think so. Anyways, we're back from being gone for my birthday. And I'm super excited about it because every time we leave, I always super miss you guys. Let me just get everything zoomed in enough. What's up, Miss Campbell? How are you doing? At Mac. Good evening. Good evening. That's good, right? I think so. So. If you didn't know, we were gone last week for my birthday. Yay. Cheers. And we're back. And because, what's up, Emma Kate? How are you doing? How are the babes? And, um, so yeah, we're back. What's up, Christine with a K? And we were at the beach and I, Obviously, I really love the beach as a mermaid. It's what I love. Happy Easter birthdays. Thank you. And so, um, I'm going to do an ocean today, but one that's a little bit different, one that's holographic -y. And so, to do that, I'm going to use, I'm not using foil. I'm using this, like, cellophane that I got off of Amazon. Um, if you click down in the link below this video. I have links to Amazon that has everything I use on this channel um, that I don't carry in my shop for your convenience. Jeff is actually making me birthday dinner in the background, so that's where all that sound is. So let's get started. So this is a piece I had done a forever ago and it never sold, so I figured we would uh, level up it a little bit. So to do that, we're gonna make it a holographic ocean one. So, before the live started, I went ahead and taped off this area, and then I took just a regular X-Acto blade, like these, and I cut, well, I thought I did, but apparently I missed this bit. I just cut out basically the shape of what I would ideally like my next wave to be so it's going to look like this and i sanded this area because we're going to add some more resin to it and i want it to bond well awards and trophies that's so exciting. <coughs> Excuse me. Congrats to all your babes. If you guys don't know, also, we are doing our scratch and win game on our website. For every or, um, for every $100 spent, you get one of these bad boys. And you can win everything from a seat in a class to 30% off your order, um, resin, um, complete kits, like open a box and pour what's in it, uh, paste, merchandise, the whole shebang bang. And I think it's, I don't remember if it's over $200 or over $250, but if you do, then you get um, basically a secret Santa or whatever your holiday deity is, a, like a mystery payment as well. And that's gonna go on. Uh, till all the prizes are claimed and there's like 30 prizes so it's gonna be amazing I already made up like 400 of these bad boys not 300 of these bad boys and then there's also random like instant wins kind you remember those like coke bottle screw caps that's like you win McDonald's fries or whatever like Pepsi scam but it's not you can't win a jet you cannot win a jet. You cannot sure. win a hover, a hover carrier jet. You cannot win a hover carrier jet. Have you guys seen that? Pepsi, where's my jet? Anyways, so let's get started. 
Um, so I did what I just told you guys that I did. Now I'm gonna use some of this 3M Super 77 Sticky, which I'm gonna do over here because it gets everything super sticky. So I'm gonna do it into my trash can. Also, just because I don't wanna get in trouble from people getting upset, um, wear a respirator if you feel you need to for aerosol, sanding, resin, etc. Listen to your body. One good layer of this should do it. Also, also Jeff said he made uh, enough guacamole sour cream for everyone and anyone. So if you're uh, around, in the next 20 minutes, in the next 20 minutes, you can come have some guacamole dip, guacamole sauce. So. This is a spray adhesive, so it comes out sticky. You don't have to wait, like the bottle with the lady on it. So I don't know if this would work with this. No! Ah! Okay, that's enough. The foils. Who's to say? Hello, Miss Sue. Vamp, what's up? What it do? Even though I've been talking to Vamp all day, as per use. Hello, Trisha. How's the weather over there, Miss Sue? You're on your way from Florida for the yummies. Listen, if you help us find a location to have a class in Florida, we'll just come down and cook for you. How about that? How about them apples? Or how about them tacos, as it were? Anyways, um, I like to crinkle my cellophane so it has like a little bit of texture and it'll catch more light because essentially we're wrinkling facets into our cellophane. I cut this to size earlier. I'm hoping I didn't cut it too close to size. So we're gonna just do something. Yes, yes. Crushed it, nailed it. I win. Uh, I'm not gonna use the brush thing like we usually use for the foils. I'm gonna use um, a vinyl squeegee to tack down my this just because I think the the other thing what was it what do we call it oh that brush for the foils may be a little bit too rough because this is not going to leave something behind this is just it is what it is so Just rinse it off. This is gonna look amazing. You guys heard it. Beep. <laughs> oh yeah, Trisha, I heard about that. They wanna check it out. Hello, Jessica Larson from Pennsylvania. How's the weather there? How's the weather where all of you guys are at? So I'm gonna use my Zacto blade and cut out the edge of my piece. Be careful when you're using an X-Acto blade. If, it, if it's dull even a little bit, just change it out because you'll get hurt quicker with a dull X-Acto blade than with a sharp one. Could you kind of, you have to like put more um, effort into it when it's not as sharp. Okay, and so the next thing I'm gonna do is cut it down along where my wavy tape edge is. And I'm gonna do that because when I peel the tape off, I want it to take all of the cellophane that I don't need along with it. And that's just not gonna happen unless I uh, maybe do. So I'm going to cut this so that I can maybe do. Just along ah! the edge. Bing, bang, blank. Yeah, I can smell that cooling. I'm not sure if I like that. Now I'm going to peel up my tape. And in theory, 
it's going to take the cellophane uh, with it. Well, the cellophane that I don't want in here. Yes, yes. Wait. It left a little bit behind, so. On yes, just for a moment. This part's easier without gloves on, but I went ahead and mixed my resin, so therefore gloves. Cellophane is super thin, so it doesn't take much to cut into it. And there we have it. This is going to be the line where our next wave is gonna be. Arguably, I cut it a little bit too close to my first line. We're just gonna to have to make it work. Judy! I had the privilege of arting with Judy yesterday. Right, five second rule. Cold ring and cold for everybody. Well, it has been very rainy here, but not that cold <coughs> as of late. Sorry guys, I had a little bit of a, something's, something's sticking out on this edge. And I'm not really concerned about my edges right now. I always address those in post-production. So if I were to make them a color now, and I decide to pour over it, then I'm just gonna have to change the color of everything. So I don't really bother with it till the piece is finished and lay it on its front and make a piece from it. So, you wish you had someone to art with there? Well, soon, uh, hopefully we'll be coming to Australia again for another tour. So, Boop. and boop. I went ahead and mixed up my resin before the live because I keep getting notes about how boring it is when I have to mix resin all live. Whatever. Cool. How long does salsa last? We can have this for a good month. Smell it. It should last a little while because um, vinegar in it and it's processed. It smells like Salsa. You guys, how long is salsa good for in the fridge after it's been opened? I know it's not a good rule of thumb to say if it smells fine, it's fine, but I feel like it. Okay. Susan says, I'm dying for y'all to come close to here. Here's the thing. If you guys find me a space... Google says one month. You just said a month. Uh, Susan Campbell says, um, until it grows free stuff, question mark. So um, this goes out to all, all of y'alls out there. Uh, if you find me a place to teach that will hold uh, 10 people, And it's a location that uh, I get a lot of interest in when I say, would you guys like me to teach at wherever it is that we decide um, you, that you find me a spot? Then I'll set up a class there and whoever helps me set the class up gets a free seat in the class. Keep in mind, Jeff doesn't go anywhere where it's cold while it's cold. So, Timmy Anderson pieces lately. She's been making a foil girl looking fire. If you see them, she's so talented and such a great person. I love her in the Jessica, I love some Tammy, and she's a close friend of mine. She did the latest piece, the cross, on one of our boards. What's up, TG? Your mom's garage will hold 15 people. Not uh, too. Maybe a stretch. Because I'm going to use some abalone shell, just a little bit. The white that I used is titanium from just resin. Abalone is from resin art. I'm going to mix this up a little bit. 
Ooh, I did just get some uh, color obsession in. I haven't even set out an email about it. So if you guys have been looking for some tints or some Snow White, those are in stock and you are the first to know about it. All 43 of y'all are the very first to know. So get on over there. I have another case coming and as soon as that case comes in, I'm gonna send out um, a message, an email. Hopefully that's tomorrow, but who's to say? All right, now I guess I should get you guys in a little bit closer to the important part. It's a dope. I don't know what that means, but um, I need to fit two people per eight foot table. I shouldn't come to Montana because it's cold here. Well, I, we could come in the warmer months. Okay, so I'm gonna put my Milky Way and clear resin mixture right up over where our seam is. That has, I call it a seam, it's not really a seam. It's where we put, it's where that line is that stops, that has the foil, the foil line or the foil seam. And now I'm going to add da, 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 Bondi because I have it in stock and I can use it because I love it. I'm going to put just a couple drops in right now to make it our light shallow ocean color. I'm gonna add a few more drops to make it our deeper ocean color. You don't even have to do this step if you don't want to because your cellophane already has color. Now I'm going to just Spread this about up over my cellophane. I could have used some uh, Blue Lagoon for my darker ocean layer, but this is fine. Not all oceans that are like taken a photo like this up close will have like the deep ocean part in it. So this is just really up close of the shallow area, I guess. Now I'm going to heat it just a little bit, make sure I don't have any uh, hairballs, dust bunnies, anything of the sort floating in it. It's easier to pick them out now than try to design, pull them out after your um, wave has gone through it. Hello, Carrie Ward, eclectic palette. Me too, same. Well, of course, Jessica, and glitter is always an option. So, um, yeah, Tammy came to my wedding. Find a fix it, flip it, work it. What's up? So I'm going to take my clear, nope, my white, and I'm going to pour it right over where my clear resin touches just the rawness of my cradle board. I'm putting it really close to my first wave dangerously close to be more precise. But I guess I decided I was gonna live life on the wild side today. Right. Now I'm gonna take my heat gun with my cake topper attachment, AKA concentrator nozzle. Do you have this zoomed in? I do, okay. so they could see it. 
And I'm gonna work just half and half. I'm gonna work this way down and then I'm gonna do this way down. This is a one shot wonder type of design. As soon as my wave starts moving, I'm gonna go down and I'm doing tea tiny baby circles. Tea tiny baby circles. And I have it just on a slight tilt. I'm just gonna let it roll back just a little bit, just to stretch that wave out. So that you'll be able to see all of that crazy awesome sparkle through our wave cells. And now I'm just gonna fan out the end of the wave just to soften it. And I'm gonna let it relax. I'm not gonna do anything else heat-wise to these cells up here because we don't wanna melt them. And I'm gonna use this titanium and edge up my wave just a little bit. So I'm just going to put a stark white line right up on the edge of our wave. Boop. Thanks, V. For that beautiful close up. Man, this looks great. Whew. I think I'm actually going to come in and do a third wave, just like back set a little bit. I'm not going to do it right now because there's so much heat on the surface that it's just not going to give me the waves that I'm looking for. I need to let everything settle and then come back in for the next wave. So give me a second and I'm gonna show you guys a close. Actually, I'm gonna turn the light on so you guys can get the full effect. Get a load of that mermaid ocean. And it's really cool that you can change the color of your cellophane. Um, so see where it's a little bit pinky here? That's where we put that thick line of clear in the beginning. And this is where we added the Bondi in this back half. So we have a little bit of a pink underglow up here. You see it's all pink like right here, right here before it changes to blue. And you absolutely don't have to crinkle your cellophane before you apply it to your surface, but I do because look at that awesome texture that's in it. It wouldn't be near that perfect for like the bottom of an ocean without having that crinkly texture in it. Cause right now it looks like it's like a little bit of a choppy ocean rolling up to shore, right? But if it was smooth, it wouldn't have that same look. Ooh, it's super pink over here. I like the crinkle because it's like, it would be kind of boring without it in this back area, yeah? Perfect smooth texture, even with that crinkle cellophane under it. You can tell by, a oh, little bit of a wiggle right there, but I'm expecting everything to self-level back this way just a little bit. And so that little fold will be hidden. And in any case, I'm going to do another wave. So it's fine. 
Uh, Jennifer, I just use a spray adhesive. Uh, it's called Super 77 by 3M. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. So, I love it. Maybe tomorrow I'll do the top layer. You guys let me know down below what you want to see on tomorrow's live feed. I'm telling you, seeing something sparkly or shimmery under the, like, flat white like this is one of my favorite things in the whole wide world. Rita, I love your name. Happens to be my first name. Christine is back in the stop, back in stock on the website. I just got Bondi in today. Boop. And it's on the website right now. I think I got, I think I got 15 in on this shipment. So get them while getting's good. Color obsession uh, sometimes takes longer than I would like to get shipments out. So I always tell people if you see it, buy it. Don't wait till some other color you like is in stock because they may not be in stock at the same time. Unfortunately, that's out of my control for the most part. But we love our Bondi. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video and um, the piece that we made today. Sorry it wasn't a long one. I'm really hungry from not eating today and trying to get all these orders out from when we were out of town. If you like this video, leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you think it's worth sharing, please do share one of the videos. We're trying to get our viewership up. And after the feed ends, if you could just leave a comment down in the description box. Um, it really helps our channel. What's up, Marcy? How's it going? You just got your order and the mystery box is so fun. You didn't have any of the colors. I try to add things in the mystery boxes that aren't in your previous orders. So thank you for saying that, Jenny. Also, I miss you. Oh, I'm all for drama in a piece. Mucho drama. Um, hope you're well, Miss Marcy. Oh, I don't know about being a pro artist. I just like to share what I do with you guys. You guys are my fam. All right, y'all. I got to go eat some dinner. Jeff just got done cooking. Uh, thank you to Mama Judy for taking care of my Bobo while we were gone. And we'll be back tomorrow for another exciting live. Not sure what we're going to do. Maybe we'll do another layer on this. Maybe we'll do something completely different. Who knows? Who's to say? Maybe we'll do some Christmas ornaments, actually. Marcy, thank you so much. Where's my button? Oh, Jeff gave the button. I'm going to take that as a birthday five and high five back. Um, so, yeah. I... Um, yeah, have to go eat some dinner, but I will see you guys on the next live, which is manana. Till then, be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. Hi, JJ. Now Hi, Sherry. Remember, oh, we do the test. We do the test, so you don't what? have to. Well, because I interrupted you to say hi to JJ and Sherry. Okay, anyways, see you guys tomorrow. Um, could you do a volcano? Absolutely. Wait, are you talking about like a 3D volcano or like the essence of a volcano in a painting? Which reminds me, we need to reach back out to that lady that wanted Iceland water volcano in Aurora Borealis. Okay, Bowie. That fade out that we did actually looks still super interesting. Beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. Anyways, LL, if you could comment down below how, what kind of volcano or email me a picture, that would be super awesome. And we'll get right on that. Anyways, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, bye. Bye. We said bye. 
You guys, I'm ending the feed with my nose because my hand is sticky. True story.